Good day, folks. Today we're going to take a quick look at the DJI Osmo Pocket microphone adapter. This was just released and it now allows you to connect an external microphone to your Osmo Pocket. We're going to take a look at some different microphone options. We're going to do some audio samples and then we're going to look at some different ways you can connect a microphone to your Osmo Pocket. So with that said, let's just jump right in. So the microphone adapter is one of the accessories that DJI promoted when they first released the Osmo Pocket back in December. Now it was just released, I got mine on Thursday, and until then there was no really way to connect an external microphone to your Osmo Pocket. There's many people that were waiting for this to come out because if you're using this for vlogging, definitely you want to have better audio than the built-in audio. Now personally I can't complain with the audio of the Osmo Pocket, I've been using this thing a ton lately. And uh, I think the audio is actually pretty good. And uh, later on when we're doing some samples, you're not going to notice a huge difference. Definitely some difference, but when we plug an external microphone into it, it's not going to be as dramatic as, you know, in the past when I've done comparisons with GoPros. Uh, GoPro has bad audio, and uh, when you plug an external microphone into it, it's like night and day. Now, before we get into it and do some demonstrations here, I do want to kind of go over one quick thing for those who are maybe new to microphones and adding third-party microphones to devices. Now, I'm going to use this cable here as an example. So, the Osmo Pocket requires a TRS microphone, and basically that's to do with the connector that plugs into the audio jack at the bottom there. iPhones require TRRS, and basically the difference, um, if you already have some microphones kicking around and you're not quite sure what kind of microphone is, if you look at these two jacks, you're going to notice that the one on the right hand side has an extra ring on it. You'll notice on the black one here it has three sections, a top, a middle, and a bottom, and the TRS stands for tip, ring, and sleeve. Now the one on the right hand side is a TRRS, so it stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve. Now for the most part those are the two main types of microphones that you're going to be buying on Amazon if you're looking for a microphone. So just make sure that if you are going to be buying one, you want one that's a TRS that has the three sections. Now if you already own a microphone that's a TRRS, I'll just show you here. Uh, this one here is a TRRS, so it's designed for an iPhone, and it's just one of those little lapel microphones. You can purchase these adapters, this is by Rode, and it plugs in, and now it converts it to a TRS. If I was to plug this microphone into the Osmo Pocket as is, it won't work. As soon as I attach the adapter, we could now use it easily with the Osmo Pocket. So like I said, if you're in the market and you will be purchasing a microphone, uh, make sure it is a TRS microphone. So here's the adapter here, and to use it, basically all we do is plug it in, and now it gives you a microphone jack on the bottom. There's no settings you have to change in the Osmo Pocket. As soon as you plug this in with a microphone, it's gonna detect that there's a microphone plugged in and it will disable the onboard microphones. So I've got a few microphones here that I use on a regular basis and uh, we'll just take a look at them and what some of the differences are. Now I just wanna say that Rode is my personal favorite brand of microphone on a consumer level. Uh, they make some really good ones, they make some high-end ones and they make some uh, affordable ones that have really good uh, audio quality. Now this first one here is called the Video Mic Go. It's a fairly large microphone. Now in this situation with the Osmo Pocket, as you can see, it's quite large. It's actually bigger than the Osmo Pocket. That might not be the best choice to use. We want to keep the Osmo Pocket as small and compact as can be. You know, that's how it's designed. It's designed to be easy to use, easy to carry, easy to transport. We don't want to add a whole lot of bulk, but uh, definitely it's a personal preference. It is a really good microphone. Now this next microphone here is my favorite microphone. It is the Video Micro, and it's probably the most common one that people use with GoPro and uh, mobile devices. It's a really good microphone. It's really compact. It does come with a uh, dead cat as well, so you can block out all the wind if need be. A microphone like this you can use with a lot of different devices. You can use it with your GoPro, your Osmo Pocket, your smartphone, DSLR. So, you know, something like that is good to have always around because you can use it with all your devices. This little microphone here is something you might want to consider for the Osmo Pocket just because it's super compact. Now, this is just a cheap microphone I picked up on Amazon, and uh, it comes with a little foam cover too. So if if you're going to be out in the wind, you can cover it up and uh, not get all that wind noise. And the nice thing about it is easy to pack. It doesn't take up a lot of room. You can throw it in your pocket. And it uh, kind of is a good size for the Osmo Pocket. So this microphone here is by Rode again. It's one of those microphones that you clip onto your shirt. Uh, I think it's called the Lav Plus. I'm not 100% sure. I'll throw that up on the screen. If you're going to be doing some vlogging, this is another good choice for you as well. Because uh, it pins onto your shirt. It's out of the way and uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's easy to manage. Like I said, this one's good for vlogging because it's only going to really pick up your voice because it's mounted on your shirt. 
uh, if you're going to be doing any kind of interviews or you're going to be talking to different people, a microphone like this or these ones here are better for that. You'll be able to angle the microphone and uh, pick up other people's voices as well. So now the next thing is how do we mount these? So let's uh, talk about that here. Now the easiest way to mount a microphone is to use one like this. You can just plug it right into the bottom. You can now angle it up and point it at yourself or at whoever you're interviewing. And uh, there you go, you have a microphone. It's still nice and compact and it doesn't add a lot of bulk. We're gonna test that out in a minute and uh, see what the sound quality is like. Uh, the next option, like I already talked about here, is adding a lapel microphone, just like that. You could pin this now on your shirt and uh, do your vlog. And with this one, again, it doesn't take up any extra space. You don't need any extra equipment to mount anything. And because it's a Rode microphone, the quality is really good. Now, when it comes to mounting a microphone like this, we will need some additional hardware. And I'll show you a couple different ways on which you can do it. Now, the first thing you're going to have to decide is if you want a microphone mounted directly to the Osmo Pocket, or do you want to use it in conjunction with your phone so you have a nice big screen? So let's take a look at that scenario first where we want the phone mounted in there as well. I did a review of this little mount um, a couple weeks ago on my YouTube channel. You can go back and check it out if you wish. Uh, it was by PGY Tech and it's a nice little mount because it allows you to mount your phone and it holds your Osmo Pocket in there securely. You have an accessory port at the top, it's a cold shoe, and then you have a quarter 20 at the bottom. So let's just kind of get things put together here. So as you can see there, we have the Osmo Pocket attached to the phone and we have the mount. Now in a perfect world, we could mount the microphone at the top here because it already has a cold shoe, which is what this microphone needs. You could just plug it in there like that, tighten it in, and there we go, we have the microphone attached. Now there is a bit of a problem. This microphone sticks out a fair ways. Using it like that without the dead cat on there, usually you're fine. But as soon as you add the dead cat to it, it's now gonna be in the field of view of your camera, depending on how you hold it. And most of the time you are gonna to wanna to use that dead cat for a couple of reasons. First of all, it will block down your wind noise when you're outside, or even if you're at a close proximity, uh, sometimes just talking into the microphone, you can still get that kind of like uh, popping noise, you know, from blowing into the microphone. So sometimes it's still uh, recommended to have that on there if you're talking to the microphone at a close proximity. Now that top cold shoe is perfect for adding accessories like a light. If you want to get some extra light in your shot, just like that, we now have a light attached. But what do we do with the microphone? So I had these two things kicking around and they're both by a company called Ulanzi. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And basically it's just an extension for your hot shoe. And they kind of are similar, but they work in different ways. Now for this first one here, we can attach it to the bottom there. But if you notice, it's not gonna quite fit. We either have to have it out front there, which kind of defeats the purpose of hiding the microphone because it's gonna be in view again. We can't go to the side because you can see it just doesn't fit. We could go to the back, but then the microphone, again, depending on which way we have the camera facing, will be in view. We're just gonna flip that to the other side just like that, because now when we attach it to the bottom, we can now mount our microphone upside down in the adapter. Now at this point, all we have to do is add some kind of handle. We can then hook up the microphone to the adapter. So in this setup, we now have a microphone, we have a monitor so we can get a nice view of what we're filming. We have a light and uh, everything is going to work. Now, at the end of the day, this is a big bulky rig. It kind of defeats the purpose of having the Osmo Pocket, but you will get nice footage, nice audio and nice lighting. So this is the other adapter plate I have. Uh, it's a little cheaper. Uh, it works similar, except there's no screw there to hold it in. So what you do, you would take whatever handle you're going to be using, put it on there first. So now you can see you have your cold shoe there at the bottom that your microphone can now plug into and then into the Osmo Pocket. So it works very similar. It's a little cheaper and not quite as bulky as this one. So after showing you that big bulky setup, you can really appreciate the simplicity of using something just like that. Now, if you want to attach a microphone to the Osmo Pocket, but you don't want to use it with a phone, uh, something like this, this is by Polar Pro. I uh, kind of went over it in an earlier video as well. This uh, is a frame for your Osmo Pocket. And what it does, it gives you a quarter 20 at the side and a quarter 20 at the bottom. That allows you to add a cold shoe or some kind of accessory to mount your microphone. There's different adapters you can get to attach it to the side there to the quarter 20. It would work well like that and you don't have as much bulk. It's all gonna just depend on how you want to utilize your Osmo Pocket. Now, now I'm going to fire on my Osmo Pocket and uh, let's just do a couple quick samples here. So the first test, we'll just have it as our baseline test, uh, no microphone attached. Audio test of the DJI Osmo Pocket with no microphone attached. This is just the default microphones built into the Osmo Pocket. So now I'll do another audio test using this little uh, microphone here. Audio test attaching a small microphone to the DJI Osmo Pocket. Again, this is a small microphone attached to the DJI Osmo Pocket. 
now you can't really see the microphone because I've got it pinned to me right now, but let's do the uh, little uh, clip-on microphone by Rode and we'll see how it sounds. Test of the Rode clip-on microphone, an audio test of the Rode clip-on microphone. So now we'll do a test with the video micro attached. We'll see how it sounds. Here is a test with the Rode Video Micro attached to the DJI Osmo Pocket. Again, this is an audio test with the Rode Video Micro attached to the DJI Osmo Pocket. So yeah, folks, a couple different microphone options and how to connect them to your DJI Osmo Pocket. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Give it a thumbs up if you did find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.